That's it. That's his house. Mr. Brad Haley? Relax. Did I win something? My sources tell me you've been calling Jack in the Box junk in the box. So? I take these things personally, Brad. Get lost. Sure. Just try my food, apologize, and I'll go. Listen, punk. I've spent millions of dollars improving my kitchens to make our best burgers ever. They're psycho! Jack. Uh, Brad, you get to try my best burger ever, and all I want is your honest opinion. Tasty. Really? You're not just saying that because I'm kneeling on your spine? No, no, I shouldn't have dished your food, man. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I'm sorry about the grass stains. Really? No. So, I'm in the elevator, and Jack gets in, and I go, hey, and he goes, hey. So I go, Jack, you know your classic Jumbo Jack that's named after you with the fresh lettuce and tomato we sell for just 99 cents? And he goes, yeah. And I go, wake up. You should jack up the price and rake in the dough. And he goes, what's your name? And I go, Benjamin Shule. And he goes, you're fired, Benjamin. No. You tell Benj? Fired? What? Let go of I think he knows. <laughs> We need to talk, Jack. What's up, Santa? It's your burger, the bacon ultimate cheeseburger. Huge, isn't it? Two quarter pound patties, three slices of cheese, and eight pieces of bacon. It's my biggest burger. I bought one. One burger for 40 elves, and they're so full we're already behind schedule. Oh, yeah. Your bacon ultimate cheeseburger could jeopardize Christmas. That burger was never meant for elves. Hi, Stan. I'm Jack. Our kids are in uh, Little League. Well, I hope my humble hamburger meets with your approval. Of course, it's not as huge as your bacon ultimate cheeseburger, with its two jumbo patties smothered with three slices of melty cheese and eight pieces of crispy bacon. I'm just a hard-working mailman with store-bought buns. I'll just have some beans. Oh, sure. Mock my beans. Let's see, Todd. You've been with us here, Jack in the Box, for... One day. And do you know why you were terminated? I see Jack in the coffee room. I say, hey, Jack, you know that Jumbo Jack with the fresh lettuce and tomato you sell for 99 cents? He says, yeah. I say, but what are you, stupid? Raise the price on that sucker. Mm-mm. See, Jack's pretty committed to that 99 cent price. It's in your handbook. Don't touch that. Our bodies need good food. That's why every day we should have at least one what? Milkshake. Yes, a milkshake. Thick and frosty and cold and made with real ice cream. And where do we go for milkshakes made with real ice cream? McDonald's. Question? My mommy says ice cream milkshakes make you fat. Tell your mommy to be happy with who she is and stop being bitter about her thighs. Okay. There you have it, a beautiful banh inspired fried chicken sandwich. You'd never find this at a fast food restaurant. It's a good thing. <laughs> oh, is that right, Martha? Sir? I don't think so. Hey, Martha, my new food truck series has an Asian fried chicken sandwich made with crispy fried chicken strips, crunchy Asian slaw, and a gochujang mayo, all on a toasted baguette. And I'll put it up against yours any day. Security, get him! What, are you afraid somebody in the fast food world's gonna show you up? Whatever she's paying, I'll pay you double. Wait, wait. You want to go to war with me, Jack? What are you going to do? Tuck me into bed and read me a cookbook? <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh! What? I can't smell! I can't smell! My nose! What the f***? Here, let me, let me fix it. Let me fix it. Oh, that's better. So, are you going to try the sandwich, Martha? Get him out of here! Okay, it's on, Martha! One of my competitors says you can have it your way. Really? Good luck ordering breakfast after 11 a.m. Let's talk about my way. Yeah. My way means you can order anything on the menu any time of day, whether it's a burger for breakfast or French toast sticks at midnight. Other places won't let you do that. And hey, if I'm saying something that's not true, do something about it.
Hey, Jack. Hey. Want a donut? Why would I want a donut? Donuts are a scam. When you get to the middle, where the donut fillet should be, you get a oh! hole. I don't want a hole for breakfast. I want something warm and delicious, like my 99 cent breakfast, Jack. Or I could have my 99 cent French toast sticks. Those are tasty and filling. Enjoy your hole. Hey, Jack, want a bagel? I'm Jack, founder of Jack in the Box. Perhaps you remember when I was fired. Ever since that setback, I vowed to one day regain my rightful place as head of Jack in the Box. Today, thanks to the miracle of plastic surgery, I'm back and ready to make Jack in the Box better than ever.